could there be any legal problem in the future if you own erg that was mixed in the ergo mixer? Um, you know, we've seen that potentially, I can't say no, but you know, then again, I can't say yes. Uh, personally, I think that that type of privacy, uh, tooling is pretty critical to maintain a permissionless network and censorship resistance. I think that if you look at the core fundamental pillars of what makes this industry unique and what gives it a value proposition to begin with. Um, the permissionless aspect of participation and the censorship resistant of open source frameworks, smart contracts, code, and participation is critical. I think that absent the permissionless element and the censorship resistance, we just, you know, get kind of like a fancy PayPal with dApps on top of it. Absent privacy, those two core value propositions, in my opinion, are at risk, right? Because you even have some legislators that are saying, okay, well, proof of work miners should be able to scrape the data of incoming transactions and potentially censor them if they're not in the jurisdiction that uh, we approve of. And imagine how fun that would be if you take a global network and you try to apply everybody's political drama in each particular jurisdiction to a blockchain. It, it wouldn't work, right? I think that having permissionless and censorship resistance is protecting the core of what makes blockchain unique and gives it value. Blockchain technology in and of itself is uh, disruptive to current powers and systems because, you know, within certain assumptions, the network uh, is free, it's open, it's fair, censorship resistant, and anybody anywhere can participate. I think we need to protect that at all costs. Otherwise, we just basically destroyed the entire value proposition of our industry.